Hello everybody, Retro Game Nerd here again. Well, this is going to be a quick video. Um, it's actually going to be a follow-up to the video I just posted, which I'm going to end up taking down because I missed a huge, huge step in that. And, you know, I haven't done this for a while, so I was trying to do it from memory. And somebody posted on one of my other videos, which made, which just clicked to me. It was like, oh, I forgot that huge step here. And, uh, and I'm sorry, guys. I really am. I made a mistake. But this is going to be the proper way of doing it. Um, this is for people that were asking where to get it, uh, your emulators at and how to put them onto DVD. Simple step here. You can find emulators all over line. I mean, they're all over. Uh, the biggest thing is don't use PC emulators. you got to find emulators that are made to go for the Xbox, or not 360, the Xbox. And I put a few of them up. I'll put a link below. You guys can download them from there. Uh, but anyway, when you download the file that I put up there, it's called emulators.zip. It'll look like this. What you're going to do is you're going to right-click on it, and you're going to click unzip. And I already have it on my desktop, so I'm going to say no to all. But you'll say yes, and it'll go ahead, and it'll create this folder, which will say which will be emulators and inside there you should have one two three four folders and Atari 2600 Atari 7800 links and in television um, and those are complete I believe those are all complete ROM sets I think I got all the ROMs for every one of those systems anyway what you will do at this point then is find and download a program called XISO um, open that up and click create XISO. Now here you're going to go and you're going to find where your uh, where that emulators folder is. And of course I have it on my desktop so I highlight emulators that folder and I click select. Now a destination of where I want to put it. I'm just going to put it right here on my desktop again. Um, and I'm going to name it, you know, I'll just name it emulator. Oops. If I can spell today, I'll name it emulators. And I'm going to click save. Whoops. Well, for some reason I like that. So I guess I'm going to put it inside my emulators folder and I'll name it emulators again. I'll just name it EM. It's fine. Whatever you want to name it, it don't matter. And click save. And here it's going to create an XISO. It's going to tell you that it's been complete and exit. Are you sure you want to exit this? Yes. Now inside my emulators folder here now there's a file called EM. Now this is an ISO file. What you're going to do is, uh, right here as you can tell this is an ISO file. What you're going to want to do from here is you're going to burn that image to a DVD. Then your Xbox will be able to read it. And that was, you know, using XISO to create that ISO is what I forgot all about. And I am so sorry, guys. I, I really am. If you've already tried this Atari 7800 Junkie, I, I am sorry, really sorry about that if I made you use any more DVDs. But uh, that's how you do it. And once that XISO has created that file, you burn it to a DVD using any software, any burning software that you have, and then use it in your Xbox and you should have no problems. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'm sorry about for all the confusion, and everybody have a wonderful day.